Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you another demo of uh, medicine donation system. So uh, this time this project is available in Spring Boot and Hibernate and for the manage the backend it's using Hibernate in MySQL. And uh, before we start the project, let's start, let's talk about the technologies and the uh, project structure. So it's using complete MSC architecture, the backend is completely built into the Spring Boot. For the front end, it's using JSP. HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap, and all the things. So here we have an application runner file. We have a controllers. We have a DTOs. We have a DAO classes, exceptions, services, and util classes. Here we have an application dot property. That is our configuration file. Application is deployed over the Tomcat server. We'll run it in some time. Uh, before that, we'll move to the database section and let's check the database, how the database is working over there. So here we have a database for the ID online medicine donation. We have a, uh, these many tables are there. So these are the uh, database. So there are three types of role into the application. The first one will be as an admin, second is a user or you can say donor and third one is an NGO. So uh, if you get this project from code one and you get the remote support the support team will give you project in this condition the database will be imported into the mysql and the application will be imported in ide sts or eclipse and then what you have to do and how can you run the application just open the application right click on the root file go to run as run as a java spring boot or a java application so when i click on the java application the spring boot server uh, spring boot will start the tomcat server and it will run on a particular port number in my case it's running on a time port number 9090 here uh, we have a url so now just go to your browser open the browser and enter here localhost and column the port number and this url application will be launched over your browser and the home page will be look like this now check the functionalities in the future and uh, user can perform with this application so uh, there are three options at the home page we have a sign in option we have a donor sign up we have an ngo sign up so let's suppose uh, uh, sign up as an ngo so i just enter some dummy data enter a valid email id the red gmail.com okay enter a valid phone number so number should be start from 89 809 so i'm going to enter some valid number click on save when i click on the save ngo will registered successfully when i see the ngo table the data will be displayed here as a new ngo and into the user section also it will be updated you can see the new ngo is registered here similarly i can register as a donor and i entered my data and i'm entering some valid uh, email id and the contact number again click on save the data is saved successfully when i refresh this table i can see the new record over there as an ngo or as an user okay and now if i going to click on the sign in option i will go there and check the username and the password for this user uh, so we'll first check the username and the password for the admin then we'll move to the donor and then we'll move to uh, ngo so i'm just entering this username and this password id password is invalid it's showing me invalid data something i'm doing wrong over there okay online medicine donor okay uh, i was looking into the other database so this is the new database here i'm just going to drop it and create the confusion okay so here is the database and we recently added the donor it will be display here so this is my login id and this is my password so i just enter login id 
and I enter the password okay you can see the admin is logged in so what admin can perform now admin can check the user list also whenever a donor will register into the application the request will be sent to the admin so here is a newly registered donor and admin can approve it by clicking on this checkbox click on confirm now user accepted successfully now only this user can log in i will give this example again also we have as admin we have other option here search by the first name so if i enter the search first name i can search the record okay just remove it click this filter reset i can search by the login id make sure when you're searching just remove the spaces click on search the search is also working under the ngo section also i have a delete user option as an admin so i can delete the user as an ngo i can perform the same operation the ngo is recently registered this is not accepted yet so i'm going to register i'm going to as an admin i can accept them also this user cannot be logged in until the admin will accept them or confirm them so after confirmation only uh, the that other user can ngo or user can log in over there i will give that example okay again we have a search by ngo name so i can search the user by the ngo name and click on the search it's a filter and also i can delete them and track requested medicine if anyone requests the medicine the data will be display here and, and again, again the brand name search the genetic search option is there view donation if someone is uh, donate any application that is uh, will be display here to the admin and here we have a operation or two options to search by brand name and search by genetic name so i can perform the search operation by just entering the name here and that's it so i got other option i have a change password my profile and logout okay now i'm going to log in as an uh, user or you can say the second uh, role of the uh, in the database so the second is a user so i'm going to log in as a an user so this is this is my username okay just log in again as a uh, so test at the rate test at the rate one two three this is a approved user then only it can be logged in here okay here view requested medicine if someone is request medicine uh, that medicine detail will be display here so if as a user i want to donate it i can click here and i can check all the details i can save I can uh, request it medicine sent successfully. Again, if I want to request this, I can just uh, fill up my details. I can send this. Voluntary donation. If I want to do donation, so I can fill up this. I can upload any image. So let's suppose for the image, I will do sample image. Under the sample image, is there any medical image? So I'm going to select this image and click on the save. So choose uh, NGO. This is my NGO quantity date. All things are done. So for the date, always use uh, the, I suppose it's asking for the manufacture date. So this is uh, 2022. So I'm going to select my year and let's suppose uh, January, 1st January is my manufacture date and expiry date will be, let's suppose 23 or 27. So I just select that expiry date, click on save. The data is saved successfully. Now if I check my donation history, I can check recently sent it data. Okay. A similar operation, I can perform the search operation, uh, entry donation and other things. Again, we have change password, my profile and logout. Now log in as an admin and see what admin, uh, what NGO can perform over there. So we have third user as an NGO. So NGO going to log in with this username and password and now this is a password for the ngo user i logged in here so what ngo, NGO can check ngo again check requested medicine if uh, as an ngo i want request any medicine i can do uh, i just enter the generic name i just enter the brand name and i enter the quantity required quantity delivered estate save so now this requested medicine will display to every user 
they want donation if i want to view donation i can check the view donation that is a recently donation done by a test user we will display here and track requested medicine if someone if uh, i recently track uh, give a request for this donation and i'm waiting for it okay i can log out here also so i just want to show you how the admin can when the admin uh, the ngo and other user can log in into the application so let's suppose i'm gonna log in as a new user as a donor i just enter this and i just enter my password demo at the rate one two three and some valid contact number and remember this is my username and password is demo at the rate one two three so I just sign up here. When I click on the sign in, I enter the same detail and demo at the rate one two three. I click on the sign in, <coughs> but it's not allowing me to enter into the data into the application because wait for the admin to accept. Now what we have to do? We have to log in as an admin. We have to approve this user. Then only this user can be logged in. Okay. So I'm going to log in as an admin now and. After login, I can check user list. Now you can see this is the recent user. So I just click on here, click confirm. Now that user can log in. So that's it about the online medicine donation and Spring Boot. The same project is available in JSP and Servlet as well with JDBC. So if you want the source code, please connect with the code one. Uh, you can ping us over the WhatsApp. You can mail us. Also, don't worry about the configuration and the code side. We have support team. Support team will be responsible to uh, run the project at your machine and you will get the project in your machine in the similar condition. After that, you can follow this demo. Thank you.